Honey, you should say the title because you have a great voice for that. Oh, okay. Lovable um. like orphan kitties and bastard children. The idea for the title was just a uh, stream of consciousness, but I sort of think of paintings as just these really lovable little things. These paintings are little, so they're little things are lovable, and you know they need a home. They need like a home. orphan kitties and bastard children. So. My name is Kristen Calabrese, and I'm here with Joshua Astor, and we're from Los Angeles, California. And we both know a lot of painters who we think are really great artists. This is a combination of my friends and his friends whose paintings we love. We had some basic outlines, limitations, restrictions for... Parameters. Where, parameters. The it. paintings couldn't be bigger than 11 by 11. There was no frames or glass allowed and it was just gonna be paintings that were on stretchers. A couple of artists broke the rules, which is fine, rule breaking is fantastic. Yeah, so yeah.
Andy Warhol was in favor of things that put everyone on equal footing. He offered up images that any one of us could get because we already knew them. And because we didn't have to guess at what we were looking at, we could move past what to engage how and why an image we'd seen many times had become art. Andy's pop art wasn't just pictures. It was also an idea about pictures. If it seems fitting to advertise an Andy Warhol exhibition on television, Warhol's own work contributes to that perception. Better than any artist of his time, Warhol understood the importance of the camera. He knew that whoever was behind the camera had more power than whoever was in front of it. He used that insight and the power that it delivered to him to build his studio, known as the factory, into a small media empire. Films, books, art, magazines, TV shows, Andy Warhol produced what he wished as he wished. His media empire was independent. When people speak of Warhol being a revolutionary artist, his invention of an independent, personal media empire from scratch is really what they're referring to.